So, all right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Blue Red Delver in the uh, Legacy Challenge. Uh, I'm going to keep my hand. You got like Remover, Delver, and some Counter Magic. It's kind of like, what more do you want here? My opponent Mulligan is six. So, here comes the new Mulligan rule. I did. I did. I freaked out. Underground C into Delver. Okay. So I'm going to go Island because I don't want to get Wastelanded. And I want to be able to ponder my way into more stuff. Um, I should be able to win. Like if I can set myself up to win a mana advantage battle here, then I'm going to be in good shape. But I just need to like, you know, I can I can take a little damage as long as I'm ready for true name nemesis and be okay. Yeah, it was it was it was like probably one of the scariest like three minutes of, of that I've had in a long time because I just didn't know what was going on. Bloodstained Mire. This makes me think they're playing the deck that I used to play, because I used to play Bloodstained Mire in my Delver deck. Yeah. So, one of their cards is Ponder. How's it going, Teddy? If I daze, and they daze back, then I then have to hit exactly like a red land to win. Alternatively, I can... Look at my draw step. I can look at five cards to hit a red land with and not get dazed back. So I think I'm actually just going to like let this go because I can look at so many cards next turn to hit another land and kill this with daze and spell pierce up. Because I'm just in, I'm just in so much trouble if I just let this, if I daze this and then they force or daze me back. So I'm just going to let this go. This is kind of playing with fire. But it's kind of the it's kind of the spot we're in. Would not mind if his Delver flips so we can pressure their life total at least. Alright, so there's our there's our red source. Unfortunately, we're gonna open ourselves up to get wastelanded here. Oh, I should have attacked first. So I think now, yeah, I would trade my Delver. I'm just going to attack first. I would trade Delver for Bob. I don't think my opponent's going to do this. But. And then I think I'm going to play a second Delver. Because now if my opponent forces, I get to actually pick up my red source, which is kind of nice. And that's what I think we're waiting. Okay, so we're not we're not worried about that. And they daze. I get to pick up my red source as well. Yeah, so nice. So this kind of just worked out. Now we know my opponent has ponder in volcanic island. And again, we just had to set ourselves up to have a mana advantage, and. Um, just be ready for true name nemesis. Okay, so now we're going to bolt that. And I'm going to look to just flip my Delvers and try to interact with this in combat. Alright, so flip for me here. Alright, no to Grim Lava Mancer. That kind of looks good and bad. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so let's attack first. Because I would gladly trade a Delver and then bolt this. My opponent's not going to take that trade, but, like, I would do it. We have to be a little weary of, like, getting true named out of this game. So, because we don't know, too, like, we're at such a low life total, we're going to be at nine. Like, a resolved true name is pretty hard to beat. I guess I'll just resolve, I guess I'll just draw, I'll just reveal a spell 
That doesn't really matter. Like, if I reveal Spell Pierce and I Spell Pierce them again, they might not play on the second one. <clears throat> Just give this a little pause, a little bit of posture, and then we'll say, okay. Next turn, I'm just going to go Lava Man. Okay. I'm just going to go Lava Man into... Uh, I'm going to actually probably just replay my Delver. Like, just go Lava Man, Delver, and then... Well, no, I want to protect the Lava Man, sir. Yeah, so I'm just going to protect the Lava Man, sir. And I don't think I'm going to attack with either... Yeah, I'm good. I think I'm just gonna try to trade off Delvers. But am I am I looking? Is that good for me? The problem is, is that I'm in quite a bit of trouble to like a True Name Nemesis or a Gurmag Angler. I could trade one of my Delvers, attack with one, trade one, puts in a thirteen. Then it's like 12, 12, one Lava Mancer activation. My opponent's brainstorm locked. So this Delver's probably flipping to like a lightning bolt. Because they haven't lightning bolted me yet. I don't really want to trade both of my Delvers. I think I'm just going to attack with one. And then trade one Delver. Go to six, untap, hit the other Delver. I'm in a lot of trouble to a true name nemesis. Like land land true name is not good for the home team. It's probably flips like a lightning bolt. Flips do brainstorm. Okay. I'm gonna let that go. I'm still hyped for Game of Thrones. If my opponent uh, wastelands me, I'm going to feel pretty bad. They did not wasteland me. All right, so let's trade off one of these. So my opponent knows about this Pierce, so they must have Days or Force. They actually get to replay their land here, which is pretty bad. So they actually can kill me if they have land bolt. Okay. So I should play my Delver first. Actually, no, I should just hold up Spell Pierce, I think. Now I'm now I'm in trouble because like my opponent has inevitability against me. That one turn should have held both back instead of attacking with one. I think we're just going to. Is there any reason to main phase this? I probably should upkeep it in case my opponent's playing Stifle. Yeah, so I'm just going to hit this insect and then... Just get rid of two lands. Okay, so we did get stifled. So this is the hill we die on. This is the last card. So then they have to have a lightning bolt. You gonna bolt me, bud? Nope. 
Dude, my game's all messed up. Got like too many things open. I mean, the good thing is we get to go. Chooses to not shuffle. And they draw a ball. They should attack, yeah. This just smells like a true name nemesis to me, but like, such is life. I probably should brainstorm. All right, that was a pretty good brainstorm. So let's go, let's put back Mountain, Spell Snare, Wasteland the Black Source, and then play Delver. Get him for one. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate the kind words, Tannen. Let's hope we don't get bolted out of this game. We put a ponder on top, okay? Chose to shuffle. Shuffle. Delver flips. Get in here. This next Delver is not flipping. Wow, they just scooped it up. Were they dead? Four, one. They weren't dead. Wow, Moto is so laggy. All right, let me pull up my sideboard guide here. I've been playing a lot with this deck, and we have a lot made, a lot set up here. So against, we're playing against Grixis Delver. Spell Pierce is kind of medium. I kind of like keep my spell, my spell snare in because I saw Bob. I do like to trim like a spell snare against this deck. I'm going to cut one force. But, like, I like to trim the spell snare against the ones that don't have Bob, but that one, this one is Bob. And I want to bring in... I like having my blasts to win. I just like having my, like, three blasts is a lot, but I like to just win the true name fights. And if you win the true name fights, I find that you just are going to win the match. I'll probably cut one more Force of Will. Yeah, we'll cut one more Force of Will. Yeah, they, they, they could have taken one more draw step. So I don't really like the extra snag, and I actually think I might board out the second snag, because if they're playing Bob, they don't have that many Gurmang Anglers. There's a chance that, like, is it Staticaster is better than um, Vapor Snag. Like, I doubt they probably have one Gurmang Angler. Like, I I'm going to guess that they're playing the, the list that Chad Harney and I worked on, because they have Bob, Stifle, and Bloodstained Mire. And that list has been doing well online recently. So I think that they've got like a lot of X1s. I could also just board in the, but I, I don't really want to worry about um, whatever the dumb card is. Bitter Blossom, because like we have four true names. We're going to beat Bitter Blossom. I think we're just going to hit the submit button. All right. Well, I think I'm going to keep this hand. We've got like enough mana to develop and we've got a removal spell and we got brainstorm. Like this hand's pretty medium, but I don't like I ain't sending it back.
I kind of want to play my Valk. Like, I'm actually kind of down if my opponent goes, like, if I go Valk, and then I can, like, brainstorm. Like, if they go to waste it, I can brainstorm. And then if they daze it, they're, like, they set themselves back so far behind. But I probably just don't have to do that. Let's just play this. But maybe I'm supposed to just yield to a wasteland there because, like, I have a lot of lands. And I, theoretically, my wastelands are going to be better than my opponent's. So I'm going to waste this in my opponent's upkeep. I'm kind of playing into. Okay, we're just gonna let that go, All right? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. They're gonna draw a card, okay? My opponent fetches, I might fetch an island. Again, I kind of want to just play out a land so that my opponent wastes it and doesn't like put me to the true name test next turn. Because we would fail the true name test next turn. And when blue red fails, they fail. All right, I'm going to end a turn brainstorm. Kind of thinking this is going to get countered. Whoa. Okay. All right, let's put these back. I'm going to fetch in my upkeep because if they stifle it, it's whatever. And if they don't stifle it, it's also whatever. Like we have three lands that produce mana. I guess maybe I don't have, like I'm open to wasteland now. So I guess I should just not play around Wasteland from my opponent. Yeah, I think fetching duels is actually right now. And again, I'm just going to upkeep Waste the Black Source. And I'm totally okay playing this wasteland game. I could actually brainstorm to like pick up my wasteland. Guess this is a little. Do I want to brainstorm, to, or I can bolt, I can actually lightning bolt to pick up my wasteland. Pick up the land that they target. Which I'm actually pretty down for. I'm just going to try to like press up a, like a super hard mana advantage. And I'll like do something on my turn. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna brainstorm at the end of the turn now that we saw that second wasteland. All 
right, let's put back this into this. Wow, my opponent just doesn't want to do anything. Kind of interesting. I thought it must be sitting on like a true name nemesis, or like piles of true name nemesis. My opponent gets to replay their land that produces mana. They can bolt this and make a token. I did just shuffle away my fourth bolt, which kind of feels bad. Yep, let's go. Hopefully, you waste my green source, thinking that like it matters to me. Nice. All right, so let's just get rid of this. I'm just gonna play Delver. <clears throat> I, I think, I think I like where this game's going, but like it's not by a lot. Like, if I got some basics, if, if I had, like, four lands in play, then I would love where this game is going. All right, let's brainstorm. Oh, my gosh. All right. The good thing is my opponent only has wow. Yeah, see I I screwed this up. Should have just got like I should have just been like okay, I can go get basics. Because like even though I already had a wasteland target, I was like whatever. But no, they 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 found three wastelands which you know, sometimes just does it. My opponent's hand's probably also stacked. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just going to ditch this Junior Nemesis. Now I'm going to ditch Spells there. I probably should have ditched like another card because like this days might have text at some point. Yeah, but I could have beat it. Like, yeah, three wasteland sucks, but like if I'd have had my head out of my ass. Okay, so now I'm just gonna ditch probably a pyromancer. I've already got two other threats. Though this might be a these two might be paired together. I kind of want to force that. Maybe I should have. One of those like you can't take it home with you kind of things. Yeah, now we're now we're in trouble. Okay. Get your days. And I did this to myself. Like I, I was very far ahead here. I think I was well. I felt I felt ahead. Okay. 
I felt very ahead, but then I was not. And it was my fault. All right, we're going to keep it as is and not get wastelanded out of this game. I'm not going to take this game and then punch it to my opponent. I would like to play first. Again, I think I'm going to keep this hand because these wastelands are going to be so good. I might just fetch island on turn one. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Hand's like a little... Obviously, it's like we could be in a little bit of trouble, but we've got so many answers to a turn one Delver. Nothing from our opponent is nice. Do. Could get us with the. I mean, if they fetch, I'm going to fetch a mountain. Okay. Talking about my Del Verino. That's dead. As soon as my opponent fetches, I'm fetching. And I'll get a mountain. No. So now I can fetch and guarantee my wasteland resolves. So I'll give my opponent the opportunity to stifle this. They don't stifle it, so let's just get a mountain. We didn't draw a good one. Attack for one, and then I will wasteland my opponent's Valk in their upkeep. And now we're gonna win the waste. We're gonna win the mana fight this game. Opponent floats red. Now I'm just going to play a Flooded Strand and pass. I would like to set this true name up. So I think I'm going to try to EOT Brainstorm. Okay. I, could have, I have three blasts that I could have hit there. But okay, so let's brainstorm. Them are good ones. So I actually kind of want all of these. So if I put back land. Also, the Lightning Bolt seems like the worst card, but like I'm going to want that at some point. I think I'm just going to put back Land, True Name, and then waste my opponent. Then just keep my Fetch Land around. I'm going to waste them their upkeep. A little worried about Gurmag Angler. But this deck does not play that many Gurmags. I could have pondered, but I kind of want my top card.
Yeah, I, I gotta get the, the TNNs have to stack. I'd like my opponent to tap out here. This is great. This is potentially game breaking. And then I'm going to draw my land. You're such a teaser, Tannen. Days that. And now I'm I'm going to ponder. I'm going to fetch right now, and I'm going to ponder because I'm actually okay if my opponent dazes the ponder. It just sets them further back. I am a tease. Well, that's just how we drew it up. So we're going to go like this. Then we can play True Name with Day's Pyroblast next turn. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna let this go. I don't really wanna I wanna I wanna land a second true name. Yeah, we're in a pretty decent spot, so let's cast this first. My opponent did shuffle. Diabolic Edict would be annoying. We have a Pyromancer on top also. I'm going to blast this. My opponent just shuffled off a Ponder. Like, they're obviously in a little bit of trouble. Okay. Maybe I should have waited, but I it's not like I could daze because I'm I don't know if I'm playing my pyromancer next turn actually. I could I should have probably no I shouldn't have because they have two mana up. Because like I'm already a little in trouble to marsh casualties. Definitely gonna daze the true name. They still don't have marsh casualty though. They don't play Marsh Casualties anymore. Like I think I know my opponent's list. I'm pretty confident it's the list that Chad and I played for a little while. Chad Harney played it yesterday at the NRG. My opponent is going off. But we have them on a, a two-turn clock. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I, I really doubt, I don't think they have Marsh Casualties. How do I lose? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14. If I play Pyromancer, then I get around Edict. If I get Marsh Casualties, I'm probably losing anyways. Right? Because... I just can't handle, I won't be able to handle all these tokens. I mean, I have one electricery somewhere in my deck. So I don't think I'm going to play around it.
token resolves. If I just like this, this is I think this brainstorm is good enough to counter. Because I block here, take six. Yeah, I'm just gonna counter this. I think this brainstorm is like like they could get me, like even Deluge sets us back to even. And now I can go like block, block, take five, or just block, take six, and then I'm not dead to double bolt. Yeah, I can just have six. I should have three out of this match, I think. I should have won all the games, I'm pretty sure, but I think I just tossed the second game. This looks like a concession. Nope. I thought Moto like slowed down for a second. I do need to restart Moto in between games. Yep. Nice. What do we have coming? We had a flood strand. Okay, so let me pull up my this page here and then I will restart Moto. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out already today.